Hello and welcome to this edition of Minstrels on the Block, where we bring you the finest singer-songwriters in the Valley area. This week's special guest is Nellie Black. Nellie? Good morning. How are you doing? Glad to have you on the show. Good to be here. So tell me about yourself. Where were you born? I was born in a little town called Georgetown in Georgia. And it's in Quitman County, and it's actually the smallest city in Georgia. Nice. And I, I am the oldest daughter of uh, my mother and father, who are, by the way, uh, in Columbus, mm -hmm. still living in Columbus. And we are just one big happy family. I'm just the... the oldest of nine kids yeah, and um, we just love Columbus we really love Columbus we love living here uh, I went to school in Columbus mm -hmm. I graduated from Spencer High School okay. and uh, it's basically uh, a good place to be so what brought your family from Georgetown to Columbus well I my father was born in Georgetown. He lived in Georgetown all of his life. And his siblings began to migrate to Columbus. Mm -hmm. And uh, he came along with his siblings. And, and then uh, he met my mother, mm -hmm. who, by the way, is from Alabama. She's, she's from, she, she was from Atmore. Uh, yeah, and she, she's actually uh, grew up at, in, in Columbus, though. Mm -hmm. Her mother uh, passed when she was 10 years old, and mm -hmm. so she was brought to Columbus to live, and that's where she met my father mm -hmm. and married him. And I'm the first of, of the nine, as I s said already, mm -hmm. yes. Now, <clears throat> were your parents musical? Well, you know how, how it goes in, in, in the church. Mm -hmm. uh, my parents have always been very active in the church. My, my father was a, a, what we call a steward, he was in the Methodist church, and he was uh, a steward. He, and he could do the, the old line hymns. And back then, we didn't have music, uh, musical instruments, uh, except right. the voice. And so he would uh, line and sing hymns. And, and uh, he actually would write songs. Mm -hmm. I found that out after I started writing that he had written some songs and and uh, they would sing them all the time but we never knew he had written them wow. uh, until he told us and, and uh, this is only after he found out that I was a songwriter mm -hmm. and he he uh, said you know you're just a chip off the old block and I'm, <laughs> <laughs> yeah so that's basically uh, it as far as the 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 beginning of my music. Uh, I used to imitate him. Mm -hmm. I used to imitate him by singing the hymns. As a matter of fact, I could sing a hymn before I could even talk. Wow. Just mimicking him. Mm -hmm. uh, and that turned out to be quite a, quite a gift because I can line hymns and sing them as well as he can now. Nice. Now, what were your earliest influences? What did you grow up listening to? Now, obviously, the music in the church. Yes. Were there other artists that you grew up being influenced by? I used to love uh, the blues. I loved B.B. King, and I loved jazz, uh, Cannonball Adderley. I used to love uh, Louis Armstrong, mm -hmm. and... R and B. I like. I love Sam Cooke and Al Green. All of those guys that really put a lot of heart into their singing and and delivery of of their music of their songs. Now, what was it that made you decide to start? That, that I want to. I, I like to try this myself. <laughs> okay. Um, now, let me ask you a question about this. Would you like? The, the the real truth, or would you like the, the made-for-TV version? <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Oh, we're pretty, we're pretty candid on here. <laughs> well, um, 
I just heard a song in my spirit one morning. I just heard words of a song. Actually, it was late at night, and then I, I, I reached for uh, a piece of paper that was on my headboard, and it was black dark in my room. Mm -hmm. And uh, I felt around for a pen in my purse and pulled one out, and I actually sat up and began to write the words that I was hearing in my spirit. And when I finished, uh, I lay down and I heard myself singing those songs. That's a very song in, 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 a, in a tune that was kind of different, but uh, I found out later it was a, a good old country waltz. Mm -hmm. and, and, and that's how I have been writing my songs. I write in other genres, but right. the, that genre, is, it suits me, and, and I really love it. Very nice. Tell me about your beginnings of writing. It, it, was that your first song, or, or what made you start writing? That indeed was my first song, but I have been writing since I was in the fourth grade. Mm -hmm. I've been writing poetry. Uh, what started me is when, when, when I was actually in fourth grade, one of our, our, our assignments was to bring a newspaper article or copy one out of the paper and bring it if we did not have the newspaper. And at that time, we didn't, we didn't take the newspaper. We didn't have the newspaper. Or if we did, my mom wouldn't have let me, you know, bring the <laughs> article out. But uh, I didn't have the, the, pa the news article when I got to school. So what I did, I sit there and write my own. Mm -hmm. I could remember how it was structured, and I would actually make up my own and write my own. And it was about uh, seven or eight months before the teacher caught on to what I was doing. Mm -hmm. And uh, I thought I was going to get in trouble, but she said, uh, this is unbelievable. You should pursue a career in journalism mm -hmm. because you are a great writer. You write really well. And from there, I've been writing poems and stories. I write plays. Uh, just anything, give me a subject, I can write on it. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Now, what has kept you going? Well, I, I love writing, and it's such a passion that it, 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 it never stops. I never stop hearing uh, words to write. I never, I, I, I'm always, in the morning when I wake up, and the first thing I do is, is I'll, I'll reach for the, the pen by my bed and, the, and the, my husband says it's mail. I, <laughs> <laughs> I, because I put the mail on the headboard and I never have a, a pad there. If I have a pad there, I'll, I'll move it and never makes it back to right. the headboard. So, but the mail is always their old mail envelope. <laughs> so, so I'll, I'll just get the mail and begin to write, and and um, it it turns out to be a song mm -hmm. or, or a poem, and 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 that's that's basically what what I what I do every day. And wow. and uh, I found out I was probably doing it right because I had to to write um, I, I'm supposed to write every day mm -hmm. uh, this is is, is what uh, is, is supposed to be one of the rules but you're supposed to try to write something every day and and uh, for me it's it's just what it is it's life it it, it, it comes to me every day mm -hmm. and so I write every day now, what do you mostly write about? Uh, well, about things that's going on around me. Uh, a thought or an idea will come to me, and and uh, then I'll begin to just think about it, and and it it begins to form. It begins to develop. Uh, one of 
the first songs that I wrote, well, it was called No Tears to Cry. Mm -hmm. And um, it, 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 it turned into being something, you know, that was, that was very, very uh, powerful. Mm -hmm. uh, and so we took that, I took that song and, and um, began to work with it as far as uh, getting it, uh, the music to it. Mm -hmm. uh, my, my youngest son is a musician and uh, he began to put the music to it for me. Right. And that's that's kind of how it it developed. It it, it uh, and then we went ahead and and, and did it professionally. Mm -hmm. And uh, that song now is actually uh, getting ready to be uh, produced. I mean, uh, well, put on a CD. Uh, just that that one, mm -hmm. you know, as far as. That's out of my hands that I have a, signed a contract for. Nice. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now, Elvis or the Beatles? Elvis. Elvis. Doesn't happen very <laughs> often, but it does happen. <laughs> Tell you what, let's check out one of Nellie's songs and we'll be right back after this. My name's Nellie Black, and this song is Columbus, My Home. coming for a visit or even if you want to stay just below the big ATL about a hundred miles or so is a place you need to stop in and really get to know Columbus Columbus my home Columbus, Columbus, my home. It's just above Fort Benning and on the Alabama line. This is the place where I'll be, the home I call mine. It's called the Fountain City. Displays are all over town. White water rafting on the Chattahoochee. Why don't you hurry on down to Columbus? Columbus, my home. Columbus, Columbus, my home. Ice rink at the Civic Center or Peachtree's Bowling Lane. Katie the cow sits on the Best Buy Hill. See how she entertains. Stand up with me, Columbus, as our country's flag unfurl. Proclaim with me, Columbus is the best place in the world. Columbus, Columbus, my Columbus, Columbus, my Welcome back to this edition of Minstrels on the Block, special guest Nellie Black. So, Nellie, tell me a little bit leading up to and what you've got going on now. Well, uh, 
I have a show that uh, is coming up on Valentine's Day. It's uh, Valentine's Day Sweetheart Country Connection. Nice. And uh, we have uh, several artists that are going to be performing. As a matter of fact, Mr. Jim Patrick, who's accompanying me, he's going to be like the, 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 the co-star of the show. Very cool. And um, uh, a, young, a f young lady, uh, Jay Chantel, she will be uh, singing, and she plays the trumpet as well. Mm -hmm. uh, and this young lady is awesome. She plays in, in jazz bands and, and brass bands all over. Alabama, as a matter of fact, uh, she's from Mobile, and 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 she's she's an awesome talent, and she sings well too. Uh, then a young lady, uh, she's just starting out. Her name is Sincere, and she's going to be performing as well. Very cool. Going back to your your song that's going to be go on CD. Tell me a little bit more about that. Well. Uh, it's entitled No Tears to Cry. And it's, it's kind of like a, a heartbreak song. Somebody's broken heart. And, and uh, actually, uh, the, the Hilltop Records contacted me uh, after they had heard the song at the U.S. Copyright Office. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, they started sending me letters asking me to uh, send them the song mm -hmm. and some other material if I had it. But uh, when I did send them the material, that was the song that they wanted. So I, and, and they sent me a, a letter back saying that this is the song that they, they wanted and, and uh, they would uh, love for me to sign a contract with them for them to use that song. and. Uh, it's just, that's how it got to be where it is. Very cool. Mm -hmm. Now, looking forward, where would you like to go with your music? Well, uh, I love performing, but I love writing even more. So I would uh, love to perform for a while. Uh, I was contacted to buy a a young promoter from Minneapolis, Minnesota. As a matter of fact, he traveled down to Columbus, and this was, uh, I think, last July. Mm -hmm. He traveled down to Columbus, and and he actually came to my door and, and asked me if I would uh, consider headlining a concert up in Minneapolis. Mm -hmm. So uh, I told him that, you know, I, I would look into doing that uh, so we'll we'll be getting together uh, sometime soon to set up that that concert mm -hmm. and um, I'm, I'm looking for opportunities everywhere I, I, I love to perform and I, and I want to do it uh, for a, a while but then I'm going to just mostly write mm -hmm. I, I, that small to goal is, is to to uh, continue writing uh, I'm a member of the uh, Nashville Songwriters Association International, uh, and th I love I love getting together with 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 the group and and uh, just just listening to uh, the new material that everyone's writing and and sharing my own. Now tell me about your experience with uh, how long have you been with the NSAI? I know this is your, your you've got Jim Patrick accompanying you in here today. <laughs> yes, yes, awesome guy. How long have you known him, and how long have you been with that group? I met him at NSAI, and that's uh, been, you know, just just a few months. Mm -hmm. But um, I saw the ad in the playground about NSAI, and so I I, I contacted Nona, mm -hmm. and uh, I she called me right right away and and told me when they were meeting, and I met with them and. I've been trying to make every meeting since then. A couple I missed because I was uh, out, of, out of town. I went up to Tennessee for a business meeting. Mm -hmm. But um, I try to make every one. Right. Yeah, because, I, like I said, I love getting with that group and, and sharing my material and hearing theirs. And they're some awesome writers. Oh. I, I really love it. 
Now, let's just say you're walking around the house on a, a day off. Okay. What are you most likely to be listening to on your 78, 33, 45, 8-track, <laughs> cassette, CD, or MP3 delivering device? <clears throat> well, um, I'll, I'll listen to a little bit of everything, but I, I, I love to, to put in... Uh, Dolly Parton, mm -hmm. and, and 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 sing along with her. I, I, this is what I mostly listen to when I'm just sitting around doing nothing. I'm I'm uh, singing Dolly Parton songs, and of course I love all of the new artists as well. But I'm a big fan of uh, what I call old country. I just love that. And uh, right there with you, yeah, Kenny <laughs> Rogers and. Willie Nelson, all of the, the, the ones that do that real old country, that, that old country flavor, I love that, yes. So now as a performer, a performing songwriter, mm -hmm. your main passion is writing. I mean, you love to perform, but, but writing is the one that you feel you're, that you're closest to? Yes, mm -hmm. yes. Very cool. Let's check out another of Nelly's songs. I'll be right back after this. This is Nellie Black singing Run Buck Run. Looked out and saw Mr. Tucker last night. He was carrying quite a load. He had his 12 gauge shotgun shouldered going up the road. His daughter Mary Ellen was behind him crying, Papa, please, sir, no. Shook her off and snatched away and said, little gal, let go. He's out hunting, but somebody's son out of luck. Better get in that old truck or learn how to run and duck. Run, buck, run. Getting shot just ain't no fun. You better run, buck, run. The gal daddy's got his gun. I got a call early this morning, say a wedding took place last night. The preacher's son, Buck and Mary Ellen Tucker, done made their loving right. Mr. Tucker told Buck with a look in his eye, you better cancel the honeymoon. You need to get a job and take care of business, cause the baby's due in June. He's out hunting, Buck, somebody's son out of luck. Better get in that old truck, or learn how to run and duck. Run, Buck, run, getting shot just ain't no fun. You better run, Buck, run, the girl daddy's got his gun. Well, it's nine months later and the baby done come and old Buck just can't be found. Mr. Tucker got his gun riding in his old truck, going from town to town. Now some folks listening to this song might think that it's not true. But tell me if this was your daughter, tell me what would you do? You'd be hunting buck, somebody's son out of luck. Better get in that old truck or learn how to run and duck. Run buck, run, getting shot just ain't no fun. You better run buck, run, the girl daddy's got his gun. Run, buck, run, that girl daddy's got his Hello and welcome back to this edition of Minstrels on the Block, special guest Nellie Black. This is the part of the show where we pimp stuff. So, the self-promotion part of the show. So what do you have that you want everybody out there to know about? Well, mainly my show that's coming up in, in uh, 
February about Valentine's show. Um, and it's going to be an awesome show. And it's going to be uh, uh, really a dinner and a show. Uh, we, we're gonna we're gonna have dinner, and then uh, the show's gonna begin. The, the the dinner starts at seven, and the show begins at eight. Mm -hmm. And uh, we have a, a a band that's gonna uh, play. So we're gonna have live music, and and uh, like I said, you know, Jim Patrick he's gonna be uh, co-star in the show. <laughs> Can't yes, go wrong. Yes, because he's an awesome singer. I, I've uh, just uh, traveled with him and Nona to Carrollton, and, and he performed at the uh, Lowell Opera House, and mm -hmm. he was awesome, uh, along with so many others that were songwriters. And, yeah. and, uh, but that's, that's the main event that's coming up for me. And where's this going to be? It's going to be at the... Uh, the, uh, the Occasions Event Center behind the Huddle House on Victory Drive. Cool. And um, it's, it's a very nice facility, and, and the stage and everything is really nice, and, and that's at 1807 uh, Victory Drive. Cool. Um, we've, we're going to do uh, a lot of uh, door prizes as well. You know, it's going to be with door prizes and and uh, the, the 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 dinner and show is only like it's like twenty dollars, you know, at, at the advance and twenty five at the door. So uh, we're hoping that everybody will come out and and uh, just enjoy that that uh, dinner and show. Well, I hope you get a great crowd. Hope so. You got some first rate musicians playing, and that's, that's going to be awesome. Yes, yes. A couple of questions I'd like to ask. As a performing songwriter, what do you think of the music scene in the Valley area? Well, they, there's so much talent in this Valley area, so much talent. And, and uh, I, I, I try to get around as much as possible so I can hear and listen and and enjoy all the talent. Uh, I, I, I like just going and, and, and sitting back and listening. I, I've gone to um, so many different places. I try to go downtown and uh, when, they're, when they're having the different performances and, and uh, I think it's, when it gets a little warm, they have the uptown, the different bands featured. Uh, like on the town square, mm -hmm. and, and, and I try to go and listen to all of that. I, I, I love going to uh, the open mics and, and sitting there and listening to those, and, and I, I'm just enjoying all of the, the, the wonderful talent in the, in, the valley, uh, in the valley area. Do you think there's a way in which the music scene might be improved? Uh, yes, I, I kind of think that there should be more opportunities for uh, folk who, who are trying to be heard and, and uh, don't have a place to uh, perform or present their talent. I, I, I believe that maybe something should be done about trying to, to, to just f feature those folk and spotlight those folk that are are, are, are unable mm -hmm. to um, to to get uh, to a place like No Shame Theater or some of the other areas and some of the other open mic uh, places. Uh, I've performed at some of the open mic. I've even gone to uh, the Green Room in Atlanta and 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 performed there. Mm -hmm. But I'm, I'm, I'm trying to, like, hear the talent, and I try, you know, to encourage these, the young folk and the young talent to, to come to NSAI, because I, I, there's so much uh, 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 experience and, and, and wisdom 
and and they'll and they'll sit there and work with them and let them know that uh, you know it doesn't matter what what kind of music you like or what kind of songs you write, but we're here to help you improve in your writing and we kind of help each other out and and and, and I really love that. Yeah. Yes, I, I, I'm, I'm trying to, to, to get that, to sell that, that, that great song. And <laughs> <laughs> so, so uh, and I, I've heard so many young writers that, that are just awesome. The young lady, Jay Chantel, she's an awesome writer as well. And, and she's gone to NSAI uh, a few times. And, and so I'm trying to encourage her and to, to come and just be a part of the group and yeah. And, and, and so she can develop her, her uh, talents as well. Now, what advice would you give to aspiring artists watching the show? And whether it be music, art, sculpture, you know, whatever. Uh, there are a lot of things that fit under the, the header of art. What advice would you give to somebody coming along? Well, the, the advice I would give them is to, to, to just don't let anything discourage them. Because if you keep doing it, you keep working at it, mm -hmm. it's going to develop and it's going to be what you want it to be. But if you, you stop, it'll never happen. All right. it, it stops when you stop. So you got to keep pushing, you got to keep going, and it'll happen. It'll happen eventually. No, I appreciate you being on the show. Thank you. Thank Ready you for having me. Thank you. Special guest, Nellie Black, Minstrels on the Block. We hope you've enjoyed this episode. A lot of good information here. We'll see you next time. I'm your host, Brian Mallard, only on CTV EA. This song is called No Tears to Cry. My love was so strong But everybody tried to warn me They said it won't be long You'll open up your eyes and you'll see I don't want water Just give me a drive that a double so I'll have no tears to cry now you can't change wrong to right and pretend it don't matter baby each time we fuss and fight it calls my world to shatter So I'll have no tears to cry When you told me you never loved me As I begged you to stay You said I just want to be free And then you walked away dry make that a double so I'll have no tears to cry all my friends try to comfort me they tell me to be strong but each day is so lonely the nights are so long I don't want water Just give me a drag And make that a double So I'll have no tears to cry No, I don't want water Double, so I'll have no tears.
tears to cry Make that a double So I'll have no tears to cry